Hi, Joe Cerrone. I'm going to go through and show how to do the socket wrench. The socket wrench is bonus, and it was created by Chris. He's got an excellent video that you can also watch. I'm going to just do the same thing, but since we were online and people wanted to see how to do it, this exercise, I thought I would demonstrate it. The instructions are right here. You can download the instructions. and open them. In the instructions, what we'll do is we'll create this secondary feature. And what we're gonna do is we'll start off by creating the shape. Note where the origin is. When you work with your CAD sketches, everything wants to know where it is in relation to the origin to be fully defined. So having a dimension to the origin or having the origin on the part somewhere like in the center is important. But as we go through, this one isn't at the center. Well, maybe it is, I'll, I'll go through and I'll look at it again. But as we go through, we'll create this shape and go through these different steps. And so I'm gonna put this on my second monitor and do a quick demo. So I'll bring this over here. I'll say file new, part, and okay. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we'll take a look at our instructions. It says sketch the geometry below on the front plane. And so I'm just gonna go onto the front plane, right click, start a sketch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a center line. And then I'll hit escape. And then what I'll do is I'll create the geometry for this. And I'm gonna just check on the video while I'm in here. And this is what I like about these. And so Chris actually, and I talked to him um, about these things. He created a whole manual. And he's actually got so many hits, he'll get 5,000 hits plus uh, that he's getting sponsored. But he goes through and shows you how to go through and do that. So here he is, probably getting 10 bucks on that. And what he does is he creates this line, and then he creates this one here, and then he mirrors it. And then once it's mirrored, he creates it with this arc, and it's a tangent arc. And so he'll come up here and go with tangent arc, and then he'll glide over it from one to the other side. And then we'll do the bottom same way. I'm gonna pause this just to make sure that I do this correctly. And so as we look at ours right here, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go just create a line. And this is the thing you got to be careful of when it starts grabbing these lines like that and auto inferring, you don't necessarily want that. You can hold the alternate key or you just move it somewhere else. And then just go and just throw a line up here like this. And then what we'll do is we'll mirror it. Remember, SolidWorks likes symmetrical things. So I can mirror it. This one isn't too good. I'm, before I mirror it, I'm going to move it a little closer. I'm afraid my geometry is kind of wacky. Now I'll mirror it. And then let's hit escape, mirror it. This one, not that one. About center line here, green check mark, arc tangent, hover, acquire, drop it. Hover, acquire, and drop it. Hit escape. And then we can go and take a look at the measurements on it, uh, if I can find them. And so what we'll do is we'll put a 0.750 0.6 and 0.750. Smart dimension, 
0.75. And then what we wanna do is we wanna measure from the center of this arc to the center of the other arc. And so I'm waking up the points. Don't be afraid to, to zoom in because you'll be better at selecting it. And that's the geometry that I want. And then once I have the geometry like that, to get it fully defined, what we'll do is we'll grab this point and move it up. And so here's how he does that. Hovers, acquires, and then he just drags it. And what he does is he'll drag that center point onto the origin. And then it knows where it is in relation to the origin and it all turns fully defined. The suspense is killing me. All right, so let's go back. And then if we, kind of take a look at how that worked. What he did was he dragged it from this origin. So he grabbed it, moved it up and down, dropped it, and then bam, everything is fully defined. And then if I can find my exercise instructions, here they are, too many tabs open. So we create this geometry and then we extrude it mid plane, one inch, seven degrees. So what we'll do here is we say features, extrude boss base, and then we'll say mid plane. And then if we grab this, we wanna add a taper, seven degrees. And then we want that to be one inch. Green check mark it. And then we just go and grab the inside stuff. So we'll select offset and then extrude cut 0.125. And so we'll offset it an eighth and then we'll cut it an eighth. Select it, start a sketch, go to offset. 0.125, reverse it. Green check mark, feature, extrude cut, dial in the mount, 0.125. Green check mark, create the next feature. Next feature, select that surface and create two circles, 0 0.5, 0 0.350. And then what we'll do is we'll cut those into the part 0.75 deep. Select, sketch, spacebar, normal two, circle, hover, wake up the center point, acquire it, draw a circle. Do it again. Dial in the radiuses. If you don't get a radial dimension on it, what you want to do is you want to go over here to the leaders. I don't think it'll let me do it until I do, um, because you have to do math. And that's why when you work on machines in the shop, they're in diameter, because they don't want you to have to take the diameter and divide it by two, because you know it's easy if it's 0.5, but it doesn't always work right. So. That's what happens. So you go to other, excuse me, value. I gotta be in the right one. So here, or there. And what you can do is you can change it from a radius to a diameter and Would have been better if I had it the right size. Here it is down here, radius. And so now I can see where my math mistake was. And so now that I have that, 
I can go ahead and green check it and I can fix it and I'll make it 0.5. And then I'll make the other one radius 0.3. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll trim this and cut it 0.75. And so when we trim it, you just use the power trim. It's the best, AutoKid started using it now too. It's like cars, you know, when Mercedes Benz comes out with something then everybody else has it as well. Green check mark it, extrude cut. And we'll extrude cut that 0.75 deep. Green check mark. Take a look at it. Looks great. Continuing. All right. So once we've done that, we'll punch a couple of holes through it, and then I'll show you how to model the bottom end of it. And I'll try to wrap this up in five. Select the plane. Create a sketch. Space bar. Normal two. We'll create two point. 375 holes, two places. Wake up the entities, hover, acquire, hover, acquire, dial in dimension. That'll be 0.375. That's a diameter. You can just match them or you can just, it comes into design intent. Probably would have been better to use a relation and make them equal, but today I didn't have time. Features, extrude cut. Sometimes time is more important as long as it's right. Green check mark. All right, it's when you do it, for the third or fourth or fifth time when you're making the same item, that's when you can start getting the efficiencies behind making something that works. And then as we go into it, what we wanna do is we want to create a plane by holding the control key and dragging top plane down and putting that four inches and then drawing a half inch diameter circle and extruding it up to next. So to create a plane, what we'll do is we'll hover over the top plane, I believe it was the top plane. Right click on it and let's see it. And then hold the control key, grab it, drag it off, and then dial in four inches here. Green check mark, you can see it, it's down here. And then what we'll do is we'll sketch a circle on that plane, it's half an inch diameter. And so when we come over here and we wanna sketch on that plane, say sketch on that plane, draw a circle, acquire, dimension, 0.5, green check, feature, extrude, boss base, and there's a problem well no it looks okay four inches 4.0 oop not right that was the dimension i just wanted to go up to next here we go green check mark i'm not going to do all the fillets on it because i'm out of time but i'll do the handle and so you can go ahead and fill it the radii everything's in the book and everything like that but it's just a nice example and if anybody wants to design some gears in the center of it, that'd be great. Maybe we can make some working models. And so this one is then to create the handle, what we're going to do is we're going to just sketch on the front plane. And it's just technique. You know, as you learn SolidWorks, you learn that you line up the planes through the middle of the part. And I'll show you what I mean. And so here's my part. And then if I show you the front plane, you can see 
goes right through the middle. And then if I show you the right plane, it's like an X. And that's how you design these. And so as we're in the front plane view, if we're in a front view, what I'm gonna do is go to a front view and then I'll dial that back. And then what I'll do is on the front plane, the front plane is already showing, I'll right click on it and I'll start a sketch. And then what I'll do is I'll throw a center line down the middle of it. Like that. And then what I'll do, and this is a little different than he does it, I'll do a center rectangle that's four inches. And then what I'll do is I'll set the distance for that 3.75 from the top of the origin to here. And then what I'll do is I'll make this one four inches. And I'll make it 0.75 wide. And then what I'll do is I will extrude it 0.750 mid plane features, extrude boss base, mid plane 0 0.750 with a taper of seven degrees like that. And then Let's see, do I want to draft it inward or outward? Looks okay. Then green check mark. Okay. All right, space bar, isometric view. And let's turn off our planes. And then there's some detailing work. If you watch the video, um, it does a really nice job, but I, I, I really like making the socket wrench. Um, it's bonus. Uh, if you want to do the socket wrench instead of the clamshell, uh, I'll accept that for the people that are in my video meeting that listen to my recordings or watch what I say. So that's a, a decent example. And then you can add the filleting and the radiuses and put your name on it. And then you too can have a socket wrench if you'd like to 3D print it. I'm going to stop the recording, open things up for questions.